Hi, Sagittarius. This is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love and relationship reading. This is going to be for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. So you can apply this, you know, however you would like. If you resonate with it, it could be if you're single, what's coming in for you, what do you need to know about your own love life here. If you're in a partnership or relationship, if you're inquiring about somebody else, then this could also be resonating for you as well. So keep in mind, this is very general and it, it could also be vice versa or picking up on somebody here that you are close to or whoever you are thinking about. Okay. All right. Sagittarius, what's going on in love and relationships? So what's going on for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in the collective right now in love? Whoever's tuning in to this reading, what's going on in love? What's coming in in love for Sagittarius energy in the collective? Sagittarius energy in the collective. What's going on in love? Okay. We have the Three of Swords. So when I was shuffling here, preparing for the reading, I was seeing the devil a couple times. I was seeing here the Two of Wands reverse. So with the three of swords, you know, this is definitely about heartbreak. It's about pain. Some of you, there has been some pain. Okay. We do have the 10 of pentacles at the bottom. This could be that you've been experiencing some heartbreak in, in relation to a connection. Maybe you're just feeling heartbroken in general here, or somebody's feeling this way about you, but I do feel like there is quite a bit of, um, of heart, um, you know, heart pain here in terms of relationship, in terms of love. So some of you might be going through that here. And since we have the 10 of pentacles at the bottom of the, of the deck, it could be that this has been in regards to a marriage, or this has been in regards to a family situation somehow here. Um, maybe some of you were dealing with somebody who was not faithful to you or was not loyal to you here. And that could be a part of what this pain is about for you. What's going on for Sagittarius in love? This is my Oracle deck, The Untold Truths of the Heart. If you guys are interested, it's available in my Etsy shop. What's going on here with the Three of Swords? We have influences, dark attachments, third parties. We have depth, complexity, awareness, importance, and we have despair here. So... There is definitely an element here of loss. There's an element here of really falling apart or going through going through this sinking energy. And, and it could be you, it could be somebody else, but I do feel like with this influences here, there may have been other factors involved. And that's kind of what I'm feeling. Maybe there has been some infidelity here. And I feel with this, um, yeah, we have the lovers in reverse. We have the seven of wands reverse, the queen of wands reverse, the 10 of pentacles. So... I feel like with this depth card here, complexity, awareness, and importance, there has been sort of a taking advantage of something or taking advantage of the depth of a connection. And so there's been a lack of understanding or lack of um, um, communication or lack of depth, I guess, or, or, or awareness within a connection. And this has caused somebody to feel very heartbroken. This has caused a lot of pain. And so that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, there's been a lot of interferences around what seems to be, again, a marriage or family here or something that was a very long-term connection. And some of you are going through that right now. Yeah, we have the death card here. So there's definitely been an ending or there is going to be an ending here. And it could be that this is really going to be what's needed in order to repair maybe the awareness of something or the depth of something here. But for some of you, it also could be that there has just been an understanding of of the situation from a different perspective in terms of what 
what somebody's all about, perhaps. Okay, five of swords. Yeah, this is a lot of conflict. This is a lot of maybe disagreements or, or mind games or um, ego involved here. The five of swords is definitely more of an indication of some toxicity. What's going on for Sagittarius in love? We have the world in reverse. We have the ace of wands reversed. And here's the two of wands reversed. Two of cups beneath that. Ten of cups reversed. Seven of cups. Two of pentacles. Seven of swords. Um, yeah, I just get a lot of, maybe there has been somebody here who has been trying to keep their options open or somebody I keep getting here, they, they maybe were not faithful in a connection or there's been two different pathways of where to go, which way to go. And I feel like with this two of um, wands reverse right next to the two of cups, I feel like there has almost been a decision that was made or a decision that is being made here. And I feel like with this world reverse and the ace of wands reverse, there's a feeling of not making a decision. So maybe you're waiting for somebody to make a decision here, or you're waiting for somebody here to, I don't feel like you're waiting though, because I feel like this is probably something that you're already aware of. But I feel like if you are waiting, there's a feeling here of somebody really not having the best intentions at the moment. I feel like there's a lot of um, confusion here. Maybe this has already happened and, and somebody here is, 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 is waiting to try to reignite this connection here. What's going on for Sagittarius in love? Hmm. Okay, so we have vows and we have chemistry here. I don't know. I kind of feel like there's two two different two different people involved here or two different paths involved. So for some of you, it may resonate that you either met somebody who you have a strong attraction to or a strong chemistry with here, but this person's not able to be with you because they have something else going on or the other way around, or you're the one who's, you know, maybe married or committed to somebody here. And perhaps there has been some infidelity that you have found out about, but I do feel like there's something about this spark, the ace of wands, very similar here to the spark and to this um, chemistry, but clearly there has been some heartbreak that has already happened here. There has already been a loss here of something. So I feel that this is either about reigniting a connection that has been, has maybe fallen apart because of, of heartbreak, because of infidelity. Um, you have the nine of swords here. So there's been, wow. So yes, we have the tower. Yeah, we have the three of pentacles reverse, the queen of wands reverse, the tower, the queen of pentacles, the nine of swords. So I do feel like there's more than two people involved here. Um, I'm not sure which person that you are, but I feel like there's, there's a feeling here of being very, somebody here is very unsettled about, uh, about their feelings because I almost feel like there's a conflict between two different pathways here. Yeah. 10 of cups reversed with the two of pentacles, seven of swords reversed. Yeah. There's definitely a juggling going on here. And I do think that, um, there has been a lot of, I keep getting like, there's been a lot of past mistakes and somebody here, you know, either has a connection currently going on, but they want to come through to you or, or maybe you are trying to leave something behind, but it does feel like there's been a lot of pain here involved for somebody. And somebody is very confused about how to move forward or what to do here, because there's almost like a two different, um, like polar opposite energies involved. Somebody's not available to reignite this or somebody's not available to either start this with you here. What's going on for Sagittarius in love? Yeah. 
Yep. We have the three of cups here and we have the six of cups. So again, the two kind of store lines here, this could be for some of you, this is somebody that you already know from the past. And this person may want to reconcile with you. This person may want to come back around to you, but there's been a holdup here. And this holdup could be that there has been infidelity. There has been something, you know, that has uh, broken the connection down before. And perhaps there's a lot of confusion around how to proceed or how to reach out to you, how to make amends with you here. And I feel like this person, if that's the case, is still very conflicted because they still have a, a bit of ego here or a bit of... Um, like self self imposed limitations here or sabotaging behaviors and i feel like this person is not sure how to how to make amends here or how to do this but for others of you again there's there's a connection that maybe you have with somebody but there's a there's a uh, an interference that's involved from the past so this could be children it could be a marriage, it could be family, but I do think that there's a feeling here of having to deal with the past or having to deal with a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of past issues that have been going on. And so somebody feels maybe if that's the story that they have to deal with this and it's very difficult for them to be uh, in a relationship with you here, okay, with this chemistry and the Ace of Wands. Of course, it could be that this is you you're the one who has some past stuff going on here that you have to deal with and you maybe want to explore something with somebody else but you're not available to or you're not able to there's quite a bit of confusion here Yeah, I do feel like somebody here has been shallow. Somebody has seen things in an illusion. They have not chosen the right choices. So I feel like there is an element of karma here going on where somebody feels like they made the wrong choice or they made a shallow choice here in the past. And it's, it's difficult for them to figure out how to drag themselves out of that now. What's going on for Sagittarius and love? Yeah, we have consequences, karma, destiny, cause and effect. Yeah, there's been a lot of cause and effect here, a lot of karma that has hit somebody. And I do think that we have here the epiphany. Yeah, somebody's had an epiphany. And I feel like this epiphany is the ace of wands, the vows card, the chemistry here. But it's like a, a situation that's either too little, too late here, or they, they're trapped and they're not able to move forward. We have running. There's been a lot of running though from the connection it doesn't really feel like it's something that has been very solid and that's probably the reason that this is coming through so what else is going on for Sagittarius in love yeah there's something about a deep perspective we have the canyon and we have depth here so I feel like there's almost something that somebody's seeing from a deeper perspective. Um, I do feel like there's almost a bit of awakening here going on spiritually to where somebody may have really had to hit rock bottom or they've really had to go through quite a bit of pain or quite a bit of, um, I feel there's a lot of stuff being triggered as well from family or from the situation. And it's kind of a difficult trigger, I feel, because it's really had to bring about a deep perspective for somebody to look at from a from a different angle and i feel like there's a lot of self um pain coming up from the self you know having to look in the mirror and to really evaluate oneself and seeing that there has been a lot of mistakes that have been made in the past and having an epiphany but feeling like it's too little too late here we're having an epiphany that they made the wrong choice here or somebody, it doesn't feel like you, to be honest, it feels like this is about somebody that you've been dealing with or somebody that's still very connected to your energy and they made the wrong choice here. And there's a realization really settling in, but they don't know how to, to handle it here because I feel like there is multiple factors involved. What's going on for Sagittarius in love? Grab this card on the ground. 
We have emotional flexibility. We have spirit of Cupid. Goddess Quan Yin. Cotton candy, lots of pink. And pleasure and laughter. And we have old and new order. Lots of pink here. So there's a lot of heart chakra activation here going on. Um, I feel like somebody here wants to explore this love or they want to explore this passion with the chemistry here and this pink emotional flexibility. It's almost like I feel there has been a lot of lessons in the emotional department and the heart chakra department here to see things from a deeper perspective. So what's coming in here? What's coming in for Sagittarius in love? Okay, so the two of cups, it kind of flipped out in the upright and then it flipped out in reverse. But I do feel like this is the, so we have the two of cups, we have the you know, ten of swords, and we have the ten of wands. There's quite a bit of stuff here that I feel is coming to a close or coming to a final kind of decision here. But we have the three of pentacles reversed, the queen of pentacles, the tower again, queen of wands. So I feel that somebody here is releasing a lot of pressure that they had involving uh, perhaps somebody that they worked with or somebody that they had a family with. I do feel like that's the six of cups or three of cups or you are doing this in order to move forward, you know, in order to find an equal partnership and equal love. And there is a painful ending here involved though with the ten of swords, but it's kind of that feeling of hitting rock bottom. It's kind of that feeling of already going through a lot of pain, already going through a lot of hurt, whoever this is. And I feel like with this two of cups, it's sort of like it wanted to fly out like this because I feel like there's a very sacred connection here that's either on the line that you are going to meet or have already met or this is somebody from the past and I feel same storyline though it's 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 all kind of you know one because I feel like there's there's a feeling of, of really losing a very valuable connection because of some mistakes that were made here, because of some yeah, <laughs> because of some mistakes that were made in the past, and because of some um, heavy realizations and having to see things from a deeper perspective, having to go through a lot of karma here, and really see the other end of the tunnel, and that there was a, a heavy loss of something that was very valuable and very sacred here. And so either this person wants to renew this with you, but they're, again, they're, they don't know how to go about this. They don't know how to, to do this here. They want to reconcile. They're releasing some other burdens in order to do this. Okay. Or you are realizing that you have to release a connection here that you shared with somebody maybe from the past and that you could have children with and it's very painful. It's a very painful ending, but there's a need to release this and to explore either something new or to explore an equal connection and to open up your heart to be happy again and to have pleasure and, and laughter again. Yeah, Ace of Swords. So there's a, a truth here after the juggling. There's a truth after the back and forth. And this truth is going to come through. And I feel like it is going to result in this Ten of Swords somehow because it's going to bring through, um, it's going to bring up this feeling to the surface. So what's coming in? Sagittarius and love. What's next? Yeah, this is from the past. Here we have memories and we have longing. For most of you, this is probably somebody that you that you know. And this person is going through this right now. Or you're both going through this. And I feel that this is a lot of wanting to renew what, what once was. And wanting to go back to what once was. I can't talk today. But I do think that... Um, it has to be done the right way. So this feels like a total renewal here. We have the feminine energy coming through. So this could be that this is about the feminine or this is the feminine feeling this way as well. What's coming in for you, Sagittarius in love? Yeah, there's a very strong connection here. So the two of cups is, there's a, there's a deep 
There's a deep love here. And we have beauty and we have loyalty as well. Yeah, deja vu. Past mistakes, past lessons, karmic lessons. So what's the outcome here? Sagittarius in love. Okay, we have the Page of Swords at the bottom, Queen of Swords in reverse. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Emperor kind of sideways as well. What is the outcome here? Yeah, I feel we have the purifying card, clean energy, healing. Okay, we have clashing, we have clinging, and we have here pride as well. So yeah, pride, we have lust. There's a lot of feelings of pride here. There's a lot of feelings of um, not surrendering to the feeling of this connection or not surrendering to what somebody feels deep down. And so I feel that the feminine energy here, the queen of swords reverse, we have the purifying. I feel like for most of you, you're probably not in the picture here. You're probably already trying to heal and move forward because we have the boundaries as well. And it could be that this emperor, which is more of the masculine energy to me, who could be wanting to, it's like they know what they want with the Nine of Cups here, but there's an element here of maybe being stubborn or not communicating this year or not fully learning the lessons just yet, even though there's an epiphany that's happening on a deeper level. So I feel with this clashing and clinging card, it's like with that Queen of Swords reverse, you're not looking at each other here and it's because there's some clashing still going on. So it could be stubbornness on both ends. It could be that this is somebody here who is not expressing how they really feel about you or they're not expressing that they're going through this uh, revel uh, revelation. But the Nine of Cups is a, is a wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups here is what somebody wants, their wishes. But the Emperor and the Nine of Cups, in my opinion, can be a little bit selfish because, you know, he just wants, he kind of wants what he wants here. And so I feel like with this Page of Swords, there may be some communication coming through, but... What is the outcome here for Sagittarius? Yeah, the tower is coming through. Yeah, exactly. We have the tower here. We have the devil at the bottom. And we have the judgment reverse. This is somebody who I feel there's a tower moment happening because I do think with this judgment reverse, there's a feeling of maybe having to still call judgment on something, having to still go through one's final awakening. And I think that that's what's happening here. So you may get a message or you may get some form of communication from somebody from the past but this person, again, there's been an attachment to something unhealthy in the past year, or there's been a pattern that has been repeating itself to where this person has maybe been very self-centered, or there's been a pattern to where somebody has um, had quite a bit of fear around this connection or fear of commitment here. And so there's a tower coming through in which I feel that most likely the feminine energy is going to um, not communicate or not really hear this person out because I feel that because of this pattern here, but they are kind of deep down going through some form of awakening here because of the depth of this connection. But that's just kind of a spiritual um, evolution is what I'm seeing. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be together. I just feel like this is more of a, a deep lesson that has been going on here.
but somebody's not ready to kind of finalize their choices or somebody's not ready to fully, you know, change and transform here. And so I feel like this is going to be recognized on the feminine's part. Or they still have these past issues to deal with here. Okay, so any final, what's the, what's the uh, outcome? Yeah, there's exhaustion here. We have exhaustion and we have tension. So it just feels like there's almost like this tower is going to almost come through to like finalize something or almost come through to to like wrap up loose ends here is what I'm getting. And I feel like this has been a long journey. For a lot of you, this has definitely been a long journey from the past, okay? Or you're dealing with somebody who's really had a lot going on in their life from, you know, from their past here. And I feel that somebody really has to change their, their, their ways here. And if not, I feel that a lot of you are going to come to a, to sort of a, a big tower moment in yourself that you want to move forward and that you want to, it's like you're getting your final truth here, or you're getting your final, um, answers that you need on a personal level to move forward. Listen well and fully. So what's the final outcome here? Any advice, any final outcomes? Yeah, we have the grape here, intoxication and stupor. So I do think that there has been an element of maybe intoxication here, either between you both, a very strong connection that draws you back in. But at the moment, it's not necessarily the most stable because of this individual who's, I feel, still going through a lot of um, work within themselves. And there could be definitely a very strong attraction, though, with the chemistry card here. Okay, we have tumbleweed, native spirit, and we have act now. What is the advice for you? We have old and new order and we have gold abundance. So I feel like this is really about some of you might be, um, you might have native American ancestry here, or you might be native, but I feel like with this, with this Eden and the gold card, this is about doing something differently in terms of breaking a karmic cycle, breaking a karmic pattern. And this is definitely more about you on a personal level. So things are really shifting and changing in terms of old and new order in terms of, um, Kind of like the lovers versus the devil is what I'm getting here too. It's like there's a feeling of of having to, how should I say, like, like really break the chain here and value yourself much more is what I'm seeing with this gold Eden and, and the gold abundance. And so there's going to be a feeling here of really cutting through any smoke or cutting through any illusion is what I'm seeing here. Okay. So I hope that this could help you. Um, I was going to say Scorpio, maybe some of you are on a cusp of Scorpio here. Um, I hope this could help you Sagittarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great month and I'll talk to you guys next time. Much love.